Now, I have enjoyed news today with me, Daniel Daz. Now, a pressure group affiliated to the opposition NDC, Cadres for Accountable Leadership, has issued a 14 day ultimatum to the party's leadership to produce collated figures or pink sheets of the 2020 December polls. The group says um, leadership must be made to account to the grassroots of the party. Now, um, one of the leaders uh, speaking to Joy News observed that they would be embarking on a series of protests until their demands are heard. He also asked the party to render an unqualified apology to the Electoral Commission. We are an amalgam of the AFRC, the PNDC, and the NDC. So we are an associated lot. And I've also underlined that we are dotted across the country, in every ward, and most of our members are frontline executives of the NDC today. And some of them are here, some of them are branch executives, some of them are from the wards. The party is dear to our hearts. So if people are saying they don't know us, that will be their own case. Some of them, as I'm talking to you, some of them are monitoring, and they know that Livingston Pechali, who is the convener of the cadres of accountability is here. So they cannot claim to know they don't know us. I have worked for this party tireless. Likewise, my comrades. People have died in the elections to sacrifice for this party. So we are an amalgamated group and we are going to advocate a for our members. Another question sought to ask whether we are going to ask our party leadership to apologize for Lambasi the EC for the failure to produce the pictures. You see, anytime you are put in the leadership position, there is a responsibility for you to discharge. So I cannot sit here and speak for the leadership of the NDC. Okay? We have dispatched a letter for them asking them to produce the team sheets or the collated results within 14 days. Our comrades ought to know this. If they don't do that, the onus lies on them to take up the honorary thing by apologizing. The onus lies on them. For them, if they don't know no shame, then they, they keep fight. But if they know what is shame, they should own up. All of us make mistakes. We are all human beings. They should open up. Now, Parker Wilson joins us with more. Parker, I see from pictures of this demonstration that there are messages directed towards the former president, Mahama. Did they explain why? Yeah, even though the placard, as you've seen, uh, have some inscription which is against the former president or the NDC flag around the 2020 election, the explanation is that they are not in for attack on Mahama. All they know is that it appears the former president has hijacked the party. Now, they cited a constitutional report in 2016 after the party lost the election that, in spite of uh, the completion of work by the constitutional committee, they are yet to appreciate what is contained in that report. And so, their suspicion is that is the former president who was invited in that report have asked the leadership of the party not to publish that report. And they don't want that to be done in this year's election. And that is why they are demanding that as early, in fact, they are starting, they are to start from tomorrow. So they are asking them to quickly make available the coalition figures for this year's election, for uh, the 2020 uh, election. So, so that has been the explanation for mm. the leader of the group. Right. Parker, if you can hear me, um, is there any indication that perhaps they do not trust their current leadership of the NDC had the pink sheets? Well, they, that's their suspicion, that they don't think that the current leadership during the 2020 election were able to compile or collate the figures. And that is why when Mr. Sidney Katia was in court, uh, he was unable to produce the figures, and of course, you know, the NDC also didn't uh, produce their co uh, the, the, the pink sheet for to pass their claim or the, the election petition. So that is their suspicion. So they are asking that if that is not done, then 
And if I'm around the NBC, you've led the country uh, on a path that really didn't help any, any individual because you accused the EC of rigging the election on behalf of the president. And yet, you were unable to compile your own figures or produce the pinch sheet. So you didn't do a good job during the election. And that is, they are asking the NDC leadership to even render an unqualified apology to the chairperson of the Electoral Commission for mm. putting her through that ordeal. Mm. 